British English versus American English. Today we're going to look at the differences in vocabulary between UK English and the US English. Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Um, so today I'm going to focus on the differences in vocabulary between British and American English. There are other differences, for example, um, in spelling um, and in pronunciation as well, but I think it would be good just to focus on the vocabulary. So of course I'm from Scotland and I do speak Scottish English, um, but I, I do speak British English. Um, that is the vocabulary that I use. Um, so we're going to look at the vocab um, between British and American English. Um, so all the British words are the ones that I use. Um, and I must be honest that some of the American words for some things are quite um, strange to me. Okay, so let's start. Chips in the UK are what are known as fries in the US. Whereas chips in the US are crisps, the ones you get from a packet, like margarita here in Colombia. Um, in the US, it's, I'm sure you know the word soda, but we actually call it fizzy drink in the UK. In the UK we have a biscuit, which is known as a cookie in the US. Some veggies, for example, aubergine and courgette, they're known as eggplant and zucchini in the US. And sweet or sweets in general is known as candy or candies in the US. So it can be quite confusing when we have the same word for two different things in the United Kingdom and in the US, for example, chips. Um, so that can be a little bit confusing between um, British and American speakers. Something interesting um, is biscuit and cookie. Okay, Generally, they're the same thing. Um, but in the UK, we also have a cookie, which is a special type of biscuit. It's like the one that is big and soft with chocolate chips, like this. So that is something that's interesting um, for me. Also between the ve the vegetables, uh, something that um, is interesting is the courgette or zucchini. Um, as you'll notice, there's not an actual English word for this vegetable. Courgette comes from the French word, whereas zucchini comes from the Italian. Um, and aubergine is what I also comes from the French word. Is what I knew it as all my life, and then I heard the word eggplant one day, and to me it sounded very strange. I just pictured in my head like an egg and a plant. It's very weird. Um, okay, now let's look at some other differences and. Okay, some other differences in clothes. In the UK, there are trousers. In the US, pants. The UK, jumper, which is a sweater in the US. Trainers in the UK, there are sneakers. Um, the place where you put your clothes, we call it a wardrobe in the UK. Um, whereas in the US, um, it's known as a closet. And also where you buy your clothes. Okay, in the UK, we call it a clothes shop. Whereas in the US, it's called a clothes store. So that was some differences in vocabulary related to clothes or the places where you can buy your clothes. Again, don't worry, um, whichever one you use is okay because usually we can understand each other in any case. Okay, now let's look at some differences um, in places. Okay, so what we call a flat in the United Kingdom is known as an apartment in the US. Also a chemist in the UK is referred to a drugstore in the US. We have a petrol station in the UK which is a gas station in the US. And finally, we call university in the UK, whereas the Americans refer to it as college. Okay, something else that is quite peculiar. Um, the word is flat in the UK. However, we might find the word apart apartment in some cases, but for me, it's like something that's very fancy and modern, and perhaps at the beach and something. Or something so it's generally a flat but we can find the word apartment but it's slightly posher and a little bit fancier also as you'll notice in the uk we see university in the us college if you watch my video about education system in scotland you'll know that we also have college in scotland and the united kingdom but it's something different it's just not quite the same universe um, at the same level as university okay we're going to finish and just look at some random differences in the uk People drive lorries. In the US, they drive trucks. In the UK, we go on holiday, whereas in the US, they go on vacation. We get our water from the tap in the United Kingdom, but it's from the faucet in the US. In the UK, we play football, which they play soccer in the US. Um, a typical hairstyle in the UK can be a fringe um, or bangs in the US. 
We call our friends on our mobile phones in the UK, but that's a cell phone in the US. And we go up to different levels in a lift, whereas that's an elevator in the US. So as I said at the beginning that I find some words really strange. So the ones we just looked at, there are some examples of that. Um, for example, a tap, where we can get water from in the UK, is known as a faucet in the US. For the first time I heard it was in a film and I was like, what is a faucet? I find it very strange. Another one um, is the hairstyle, a fringe, which is when you get it cut there, that are called bangs in the US, which is kind of a funny word, but I quite like it. But one that really bothers me, because I am a big football fan, is that they call football soccer in the US, when in reality, they're not even good at playing football. Um, so that is one that annoys me. So I always like you guys to say the word football. Um, okay, so we're just going to finish there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it um, and learned new things. Remember, it doesn't matter which words you use, um, whichever one you prefer, then use that. Okay, everyone. See you later. Bye.